Hi, this uh, Today we are going to learn how to start uh, 3D. Uh, we are not going to uh, make 2D sketch. We are directly going to make a 3D sketch. That's uh, quite difficult uh, or quite different from the similar one that we are go uh, we are using from the uh, starting. So we are going to make this uh, pipeline. You can say. Let me show you. It's hollow pipe you can see so let's start for this tutorial i'm going to open new document from here part and let me show you the sketch of this here here is the dimensions so let's start the 3d sketch you can find from here or you can simply go to the search bar write 3d and search it here you can see 3d sketch or if you find this uh, icon or this one from any of the tab you can use from there 3d sketch and now select this line command first of all you can see it's i'm going to take this origin and make a start from here so i'm going to from origin make a line here a downward then again same now you can see like here now i'm going to make here so let's see now make here and check it uh, it's going to be same or not basically when you are doing a 3d sketch it uh, commonly goes out of the uh, dimensions or you can say plane now control 7 for isometric view now smart dimension this one is of 100 this one is of 80 and all are 80 this one is also 80 this one is also 80 here 80 just put 80 in all except the first and last one 80 and the last one is of 100 skip now you can see it is done in 3d sketch control 7 for isometric view now from here come out of the sketch one uh, now you can look here here is 3d sketch one now we uh, we are going to make a uh, okay one more thing i just forget click here edit sketch we have to make flits so from here click this edge uh, it's selected by the fold line select this edge this edge and edge is shown by the points this one this one this one and the last one okay and make it of 20 mm radius okay now here our sketch is done double click to exit from here or you can click here okay now basically i exit from this sketch one because uh, we are going to use this swept boss base and this boss base wants two sketches for that's why now right plane that is perpendicular to this line right click and sketch a sketch control 8 to take it in normal circle from the origin make a circle and its dimension is mm, 20 mm okay now control 7 again to take it to isometric view double click to come out of this sketch now you can see here we have two sketches a sketch one that is 3d sketch and a sketch one that is 2d sketch now use this swept wash base now here you have two uh, options you can say you have to select two profiles the first one you can uh, identify it by this uh, icon here uh, the blue one is a circle that's mean the profile you want to make and the second one is the path uh, the path you want to follow by this sketch if you come here it shows path and this one is profile so our profile is this circle uh, basically we want to make a pipe and our pipe should be of circular so the circle and for in this sketch uh sorry in this profile have done now the, in this path select this and it's going to be done by click here and our 
this one is done now one more thing you can see it is done in solid that means it is solid part now let me show you exploded view i am going to explode it on this side okay you can see it's completely solid or if i cut it now let me show you here okay now you can see it's solid so again click here and now we are going to make it hollow uh, we, we have to make a hollow pipe you can see here it's showing hollow pipe and uh, here you can see it's showing shell of 2mm in solid works shell means to make a whole hollow part or hollow object you can find shell in this features tab you have to just come here features select this shell uh, you can uh, read the description remove materials from a solid body to create a thin world feature so click here and if you select only one it's uh, this one may not be hold so let's let me show you two mm and okay now you can see our this section is going to be hollow but this one is not so right click here edit features and select this one also and okay now your part is ready control 7 to take it to isometric these two commands are uh, the hot keys you have to take it to your fingertips control 7 for isometric control 8 to take it to normal okay now again control 7 our sketch is ready one more setting that i usually uh, prefer image quality and take it to here okay it make the image sharp okay now edit appearance you can make it of anyone that you want okay this one and our required sketch is done okay uh you may think uh, why we not use 2d sketch so it's up to you uh, now you have to find why we not use 2d sketch um try you can try it uh, let me show you take new part okay now here is the uh, sketch so you can stop the tutorial here and try to make this in 2d sketch if you have done uh, if you done uh, this is sketch in 2d then you can uh, or if you have a uh, problem in creating this sketch in 2d then you can ask me on comment section then i will make a uh, another video that will uh, show how to make it on 3d sketch for today uh, we are not going to make it on 2d sketch so here our tutorial is going